What is going on, my people? Welcome to Brad's Parlay of the Day. Today, I got a three leg parlay for Sunday, January 14, 2023. Here, picked up the most free pick videos out of anyone, so click that subscribe button. Drop a like, it helps out a lot. Uh, if you want the picks like the best, picks like the most, picks that I invite myself personally, go to pitdots.com, click the premium pick section, or click the link in the description of this video, and you'll find all my plays there. As you see, I'm in a different setting right now. <clears throat> it's uh, one of my boys' birthdays, so we got a mountain house out in uh, beautiful Keystone, Colorado. So, and it is freezing here, guys. It's like 12 degrees, so. The, the, the grind doesn't stop, though. We still got to get a video. This is the only quiet place I can find in this whole damn house, so. The job still needs to be done. And I got three-leg parlay for this Sunday NFL slate. That's going to get us paid, man. I was a little disappointed that they, I was disappointed that they uh, rescheduled that, that, uh, that Pittsburgh Bills game. I was hoping to see a little, uh, I want to see some weather. I want to see some tough conditions. You know, these guys get paid millions. They could play in those conditions. Am I wrong? Am I being unfair? Let me know in the comments. All right, let's get right into it. So, whew, I'm a little out of breath. Leg one, Packers versus the Cowboys. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go. Aaron Jones over 74 yards here. Aaron Jones has been a monster as of late. It's a big reason uh, of the pa or for the Packers' recent success. You know, this Packers team they started off pretty pretty slow to start the year, and they've been on a heater lately. This team has been a money maker, and a big big reason for that is because Aaron Jones. He has uh, he's gotten over 100 yards in three straight games. And if the Packers want any chance to win this game, they'll need Aaron Jones to uh, to be productive. And, and that will ultimately open up things for Jordan Love as well. So I think they get Aaron Jones going early. Um, it's 74 yards. I think that's doable, especially for a guy who just had a 300-yard straight game. So give me Aaron Jones over there. I love what he's been doing lately. Next, I'm looking at this match between the Lions versus the Rams. Give me Amon Ra St. Brown over 87.5 receiving yards. This is going to be a fun one. This is probably my favorite game of the Super Wild Card Week. Um, you know, just the storylines. We got Matt Stafford coming into his old team, his old stadium, his old city, and he's playing a Lions team that's rejuvenated. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy for Detroit, man. They they struggled a lot over the last years with their sports teams, and it's it's cool that they have a, a good team here. I don't know if this is going to be easy win for them. I'm personally not going to put any money on it, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if the Rams win this one personally. But back to what I was saying, man. Let's get back to the pick. I'm on Ross St. Brown. Um, he's gotten over this number of eight, over this number of 87 and a half receiving yards 12 times this season. I expect this one to be a shootout. I think the the totals at 51 and a half. I think we see a super high scoring game. I can see both teams hitting the 30s in this one. Um, and both both secondaries are and or I mean the the Rams secondary is pretty weak. So is the Lions. So I think we just see these guys toss the ball all around. And especially with Laporte out, I expect Amon Ra to see even more targets than he gets than usual. So give me a Monra over 87 and a half receiving yards. He's a big play guy too. He could get this in a few receptions. So loving that there. Last but not least, we're going to stick with this Lions Rams game. I'm going Matt Stafford over one and a half touchdowns. I believe you could get at minus 150 right now. Hold up real quick. Good video. Uh, you could get at minus 150 right now. Um, sorry guys. Like I said, dude, there's, there's like, there's like 15 dudes in this house right now. Like I'm, I'm literally like in this little bunker just trying to record this video. But uh, Stafford has gone two or more TDs in five of his last six games uh, with that, that Puka uh, cup combo. I think this line secondary is going to have their hands full. Uh, we saw last week Nick Mullins and that Vikings team. Uh, Nick Mullins threw for 396 yards and two touchdowns against this line secondary. Imagine what this Rams team with Cup and Puka. I think he goes off. I think he gets two touchdowns. This is going to be a fun game. I'm excited for this one. Drop Also, drop in the comments, what's your favorite uh, game for this weekend? Um, right now, the, the Texans-Browns game is currently on. I got the Texans. We'll see. I faded the public, so we will see. Um, but that's going to do it, guys. I appreciate all you guys watching. I know this was a quick, a um, little bit of an unprofessional video, but I, I got to get these picks out, guys. I can't skip a day. We don't miss days around here at Pick Dog, so click that subscribe button. Drop a like. It helps us out a lot, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.